<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. This is John and Andrea behind the camera. And this is a few minutes on the homestead. But what do you have? I got a chicken in a box. This oh. is pewter. That's their butt. And pewter has some babies. Look at this. I know, put it back. Okay. You gotta drop it down in there. So she got she's been sitting on golf balls for put three her down. weeks. And she got her babies last night. <laughs> and so this morning we bring her out to the to the pen and put her in here. Okay. Put her we'll... feed right down there in the corner. Oh, you're in the corner? Okay. Yep. You're gonna block the hole apparently. That's the way you put her down. Get up under my oh. Try and get that noise. Okay. She's, she's making those little buck, 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 buck sounds. That's a good mom sound. You're a good mom. And she, she didn't get up. She settled on them. There's all good signs. So let's now, let's take, a, take a look, quick look at her. We did two last night. <clears throat> they we give them chicks right where they've been sitting, which has been in an old case, a bookcase. Well, there's Harley. She's making good sound. All right, Harley. Hi, baby. Where's your chickies? You got chickies under there? Yes, you do. Oh. Let's go look at the moms from uh, the last two moms, which are in the condos. But we want to point out we did make a post uh, that we had apprentices this week, and they helped Built build these cages. Three cages this week. So and two of them are occupied right now. I know. I've been waiting. Oh, close, close that latch down. I will. Okay. I want to show you the moms. Let's go look at the moms real fast. Here are some others. So these, this is spring and cinder. This is spring right here. This is actually spring's second time. She was our first mom this year. <laughs> second time this year. So she, she's a, was our last mom that got chicks before these two. And it sometimes happens that we get a hen that wants to be broody two and sometimes even three times during a summer. So this is her second time in her lifetime being broody because she was just born last year. I would I would lay odds that she was one of the chicks under a mom last year. Do you know why, John? Why? Because broody hens make broody hens. That's awful. I know. <laughs> we have so many new broody hens this year. So Cinder is not one of them. She was a broody hen last year. You can see her comb is not even uh, back to red yet. She. When uh, broody hens become broody, they lose a lot of weight. They lose color in their combs. Don't and lay eggs. Don't lay eggs. So don't lay eggs for five weeks after getting their chicks. Usually on three average, three weeks before. So eight weeks, no eggs. Well, Do you want to go <laughs> open up a cage? Well, we can. Let's go over to Susie. We've got. Pins out here that uh, have moms and babies, and they've been out here for several weeks, and it's time for them to start integrating with the larger flock. Now, some people get real nervous about this because they they're afraid that the little chicks are going to get beat up on. Oh. But there are so many chickens around here oh. that that the others just kind of go, yeah, stay out of trouble. Now, she may not come right out away, but she will come out here. Let's open. Here she comes. So she's got some older chicks that she goes flying. <laughs> she says, Let's see if they can figure their way out. I got a flap. Come out, babies. <laughs> Hi, kids. So at this point, once we start opening, we no longer give these babies chick starter because the other chickens will start coming in here and eating food and occupying their space and drinking their water. 
And so I do not want the rest of the adults eating uh, baby food, so I'm switching them over. Nope. And that's right, you do not have to feed your babies chick starter up until the time they lay eggs. So this is crank. People get nervous about a rooster coming over thinking they're going to hurt the babies, but roosters are protectors and they protect babies as well as mamas. And in all our years, we've never had a rooster attack okay. babies. So you guys got to go see your mama. Go on, go through the hole. <laughs> go through the hole. Come on, come on, let's go find mom. Let's go find mom. <laughs> no, they're scared. As newborns often are. So mom is out there waiting though. You can see her right outside the door. She's a waiter. There's, there's one. One made it out. He said, come on. Hurry up. Well, two. Two made it out. So she has she has our largest brood of seven. Why? Because she is a very experienced mom. And I knew I could trust her with seven chicks. Then we have mom over there mom here mom there mom, mom there, there, mom there, there, mom there, there mom there mom there mom there so <laughs> too many moms citrus is trying to walk back one of our wonder wonder girls she likes you see the, that she likes to wonder look at him look at him walking her back yeah like, oh get, my gosh get back in the in the that fence. that is a great rooster right there he is walking her back from inside the fence on she's outside the fence to get her to come back. That's nice. Oh my gosh. Love our roosters. For people who don't have roosters who think they're just mean, our roosters are not mean. Well, he's gonna go around and get her and say, come on, let's go. And then maybe chase them down and have sex. Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, <coughs> if you need eggs, they'll probably be out in the box. Um we have a lot of people dropping off stuff today um but we are going to process on monday process on monday so if you have a meat order in um i will be contacting you and if you'd like some then if you'd like some you'd better get your meat order in we do have a lot of old hens um not a lot of young roosters though for new orders but previous orders yes and uh Nancy, enjoy your breakfast, and we'll see you later on the homestead. Bye, Bye. everyone. <laughs>